Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and today we're going to do part two of the supermarket shave. We're going to announce the giveaway winner from last week. So stay tuned for that. But let's talk about uh, the gear that we acquired. We got the Blades for Men bore brush, which you see right here. And I soaked this and shampooed it. I did what I would typically do uh, with a natural hairbrush, which is to try to defunk it. And to be honest, this one wasn't that funky. It didn't really have a bad smell. But I did um, shampoo it, comb it a little bit to try to remove as many loose hairs as possible. This is a CVS house brand blade, which we will use. We've got the Vanderhagen twist to open razor, which you see here. And uh, let's open the mechanism and we shall put in the Vanderhagen, well, let's show you the Vanderhagen blade, which you can see right there. And I just dropped it in the floor, stand by. All right, and we are back. The Vanderhagen blade now loaded in our twist to open razor. Uh, it does have some sticking out on the sides, which some people really don't like. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, it's more of a cosmetic issue for me. I've never nicked myself with those. And here is what the Vanderhead, Vanderhagen blade package looks like. And we're going to go with the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Cream. And I had a, uh, a viewer who predicted what would happen here. Uh, and I wrote it down. What was his name? Uh, Clevis. He said that he, that he thought that I would think the razor is okay, mild but efficient. That, uh, what else did he say? I wrote it down. The blades are meh. The, the brush will shed and annoy me, more or less. And the cream will not lather. Uh, and will dry out on my face, and I'll continue having to uh, re-moisturize. And I, I will say, the I'm not getting much in the way of lather, so it seems like he's uh, at least heading in the right, rec right direction on that point. So we put some more in the bowl there, and let's see if I can get anything out of this. It looks like it's going to be more of a gel-type situation and not a lather, but it's a supermarket shave. I have to use what I bought, so I'm going to use it. Many people, after I posted part one, and if you haven't seen part one, go back and watch that one where I'm actually out looking for the gear. They recommended Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Well, I didn't think we had a Marshalls, and I wouldn't have thought to go there, to be honest with you, but we do. So later on, and it's about 7.38 in the morning, I'm going to, uh, when they open 9 they just go out and check. I'll take my camera and just see if they have anything better. I don't know that I'll buy anything, but I'm going to go check Marshalls and TJ Maxx just for the heck of it, because a lot of people recommended it. I didn't even know we had a Marshalls. I've never been in there. Have been in TJ Maxx. And Clevis is turning out to be right on the lather. I'm getting a little bit of a gel-like sort of a pacey stuff, but no lather whatsoever, which will annoy me. Uh, I, I'm very well aware of that. So this, uh, I'm not getting much lather out of. I'm gonna try a little more product, uh, more product that I would, than I would generally ever use for anything else, just to see if I can do any better with it. And I can't use a pre-shave because I didn't buy anything in the store. So I'm sticking to what was bought in the drug or supermarket, drug store or supermarket, okay. No good lather out of that. We'll see how the brush goes. Hopefully I uh, wash the brush enough to remove most of the bristles that will fall out. That annoys me when I'm shaving and they're dropping on my face and getting on my nerves. Um, ooh. The brush obviously is not broken in. It is way more uh, Scritchy would be the word that I'm used to. That's a shaving term, not a real term, I don't think. Widely used in the shaving community. Ugh, yay, yay. This is probably a brushless cream, I guess. So, But I'm going to use a brush anyway because it's part of the kit. Uh, ugh, yay, yay, yay. This is not an ideal ladder. I believe that I'll be able to... to 
to get a decent shave out of this gear. But in terms of lather, and honestly, the this brush, I think I'm feeling a yay yay yay. Not very good, folks. You know, this is what you get. Now that said, we have uh, access here in America to tons of artisans, and you know, we have a wealth of products that are available to us. Um, so I'm not whining. I just want to demonstrate really that this is a niche thing. Like it's not widely, products are not widely available in retail stores. You have to order them online. It's all online, you know. Um, now there are some stores, a terrible lather by the way, but I presume it's brushless. So we'll get started. In New York City, there's a drugstore called Pastors, which I've never been, but they have everything. So there are shaving stores in the United States and drugstores, at least one, Pastors, where you can find just about anything. But the average drugstore supermarket, not much. All right. And the razor feels okay. It feels like your garden variety and see. So once again, Clevis <laughs> proving to be clairvoyant, <laughs> maybe, or, you know, he can foresee the future. Or actually he said he's tried these products himself, so he knows and he's turning out to be right. The, the, uh, the razor is fine. It is your garden variety, why she like twist to own. Really no problem with it. Um, the blades don't feel as smooth as I would like typically. And so he's also right about that. I think he's gonna end up being right. The, the one thing he put was, uh, I would like the Aqua Velva and I do, but we're not gonna use the Aqua Velva because I also found this blade brand, so we'll try it and maybe I'll like it, but. The razor will find, the razor is fine. It'll get you through in a pinch. Blade is okay. Uh, there we go again. This is really what I dislike about natural hair brushes. That especially initially, they just drop. No matter how much you work the knot, they drop bristles. Uh, now there was a, a gentleman who mentioned a bore knot called Zenith, which I've never tried. I guess it's made in Italy. I'm not sure. That I'm going to try. He said that particular one was the best one. He'd use and it didn't drop any bristles. And so we shall, shall see. So first pass, um, the brush, not really good. I mean, it's passable. It will get you by in a pinch. The cream, as far as lathering, not good. Let's see if it says it's lathering or not. Uh, a thin layer is all you need. So this is like a gel. So it's not really meant to be lathered. So I'm not gonna knock a product it's not really meant to be lathered, but I'm still gonna use the brush um, and, and use it like I would a typical lathering product. So I will not knock the uh, the cream here for not lathering because it's, it's meant to be applied with your hands like a gel, but I'm gonna use the brush just to try it out. And I just need a thin layer of this Neutrogena to have it enough um, protection to make it workable. So it's not gonna allow, there's no sense in me working it and working it because I'm just gonna irritate my face with this brush. Definitely not the best badger or bore brush I've ever used. But again, they take time to break in. I mean, you might use this for a while and it breaks in and gets softer and maybe it's fantastic. You know, I don't know. By the way, today it is 11 degrees outside Fahrenheit. That is, uh, Minus 11.66, I, according to my conversion, we're on Fahrenheit here in the U.S. It's cold. 32 Fahrenheit is freezing, and we are at 11. Pretty cold. It's not as cold as it is, you know, up in the northwest here, but it's pretty cold. Uh, okay, let's go with our second pass. And the razor is fine. It's nothing to write home about, but it's fine. You know, it's doing what it's supposed to do. The blades are, they feel, actually they're feeling a little better on this pass than the first. So that's okay. I think I'm feeling more bristles on my face, which is no surprise. Uh, one of the things this experiment I think will 
will make me is more grateful about the products I use day in day, even the budget stuff. Like when I'm buying a, a, a $3 puck of, of Razor Rock, it is a lot better than this, <laughs> this, this uh, brushless cream for me. You know, the cheapest traditional products for me, Williams Mug Soap, the Derby is better for me in my use case than this. So I'm grateful for the budget products that we have out there. Our West Coast Shaving Synthetics, the Razor Rock Synthetics, Yaki Synthetics. You know, that stuff is good stuff relative to this. And it's good stuff, I would argue, relative to a lot of things. Just my personal opinion. Uh, yesterday, there was a gentleman named Buddy who was commenting. I'm feeling a bristle somewhere. Um, anyway, Buddy commented that he was from Greenbrier County here in West Virginia and had been watching the videos for some time and didn't know that I was from Charleston, West Virginia. And then we got to, you know, going back and forth in the comments and turns out he sh he's uh, went fishing in some of the exact same, I mean the exact same fishing holes. You know, we were mentioning a particular landmark and he was like, yeah, I caught some big catfish out of there and so on. And so that's pretty cool. It's a small world. You know, it's a small world. There's, I think in the United States, uh, 300 and, I don't know if it's 320 or 360 million people, but it, there's a lot of people in the United States. Pretty big country. And so when you run into someone like on the internet who's lived relatively close to you and is relatively close to you, that's terrific. And we got to exchanging, you know, stories about fishing and, he invited me to come fishing down there, which I very well may do. We'll exchange information with, that's terrific. I love that kind of thing. Making connections with people is uh, fantastic. And, I, and as I mentioned so many times in the videos, I've made a lot of friends in this community. Um, and so that is terrific. By the way, before we, we get going on a third pass here, Let's announce the giveaway winner of the Blades Grimm Adjustable Razor. And it is Ken W. It's funny, when I put the names in the randomizer and Ken's name came out, he had mentioned in a comment just yesterday, you have another razor coming to me, meaning he watched a video and bought another razor. Well, Ken, you got another one coming to you. Send me your information, cdb at imcdb.com is the email. And I'll get it out to you probably later next week. Congrats, Ken. The rest of you, there will be another giveaway tomorrow. Announced, so don't fret. And thank you very much. Uh, the rules for that giveaway will be announced tomorrow. So don't enter today. Wait for the video tomorrow. We're going to finish this supermarket shave today. And then we'll do the giveaway in the video tomorrow. So, again, Clevis uh, turning out to be absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. The cream is fine for what it is. If you're going to use a, a non-lathering, it's okay. You know, I, again, I don't knock a product that's not meant for what I'm doing. It's fine. No problem with it. Um, it works just fine. The razor will get you through in a pinch. Uh, will it last as long as the old Gillette Super Speeds and so on? I don't know. It might, but I doubt it. But it's fine. If you don't have anything else, or if you start with it, I'm sure it'll be just fine. Um, the brush, it needs a lot more work, but you know, it was the only brush they had and I didn't think I was gonna find one to be honest with you. So it has done its job, although it did drop some bristles, which annoys me, but that happens all the time. So it's, it is absolutely not unique to this brush. So, you know, that kind of comes with the natural hair territory. I've had very expensive top of the line badger brushes that drop hair, a lot of hair, more than you would think, an alarming rate of hair. I won't mention the brands, but you know, some of the best names in uh, traditional old school badger have dropped many hair, expensive brushes. So, you know, it can happen. It's just the thing that comes with natural hair and the funk, which is, if you get a, a natural hair, a boar or a 
badger and it has, you know what it means. It's this oily funk and you shampoo and shampoo and shampoo, try to get it out, you know, just very smelly and it's the way some of them come, but not all. Okay, that wasn't, you know, for what it was, it wasn't bad. It's workable. Is it great? Absolutely not. Um, but it's workable. It's doable. Uh, let me rinse and we'll come back and do the post. Stay tuned. And we are back and we're not going to use the Thayers because I didn't get the Thayers in the grocery store. So we're going to use the Blade Blade for Men Arctic Blue Aftershave Cooling. This is from CVS, their house brand. We shall slap it on and see what it smells like. Reminiscent of... Uh, Aqua Velva, that's what it smells like to me. It's really powdery. It's much more powdery than, than Aqua Velva. It's got a nice smell if you like powdery, Aqua Velva-like scents, but this one's a lot more. This is really a super powdery barbershop type scent. Um, maybe along the lines of your Floyd Blue. Not as good. Really powdery. It's not bad. I like it. It's definitely an old school throwback sort of scent, really powdery. Again, that's that's the key in describing the scent here. All right, let us review what we have used. The Van der Hagen Twist to Open, it's okay. Uh, it did what it was supposed to do, really no problem with it. Um, you're not gonna expect the very best uh, for a razor out of the drugstore, it did its job. The blade was okay, um, was it? Terrific. Uh, on the first pass, it seemed a little rough, and then it sort of calmed down. It did its job. Would it be my go-to blade? Probably not, but it did okay. The brush, meh. Uh, you know, it needs to be broken in. Um, once it breaks in, it might be okay. Um, you couldn't lather the product, so you couldn't really put the brush to, to work. It's pretty scritchy out of the box. Um, it'll probably calm down a little bit. It's okay for what it is, but not fantastic. The shave cream is a non-lathering, so I'm not going to like that, um, no matter what. Uh, but it did what it was supposed to do. It provided a platform for the razor to glide across. Um, I didn't have any problems with it. I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, it didn't dry out on me, maybe because I slathered it on with some moisture. But uh, it, it's just a it's just a gel type non lathering product. It's nothing to write home about. Overall, the shave was okay. It does make me appreciate the budget products that we have access to. Um, they are far better. The budget products that you can get online: your Maca Roots, your Derby creams, your Perazzo, your inexpensive razors, your Q Shave. Why, you know that stuff. Um, some of those are, are a lot better than this, I think. Some of the razors. Um, Yaki, uh, it really, this experience has really made me appreciate the budget gear that's out there. A lot of the budget gear that is sold by the shaving um, vendors, far better than what you can get in a drugstore, at least in the with the limited selection that I have here where I am in Charleston, West Virginia. I want to thank everybody for watching. And again, Ken W., you're the winner, email me and we shall send it your way. Thanks again, there will be more contact or more content to come. And I'm going to be making a trip shortly to Marshalls and TJ Maxx just to see if I have any shaving gear. And I will uh, show that video to you after I get it uploaded. Thanks again, until next time, I'm your host CDB, God bless.